Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I just made a couple of videos about making a new color for your color palette. And somebody asked if they could, if you could add texture to the color palette. Well, I don't think you can, and uh, I really don't think you can at all. But he wants to be able to show a customer what their engraving would look like on maple. Well, the best scenario would be if you have the maple wood is just bring it in there. And I've done a couple of videos on how to size your photo to the plaque. But if you don't have the maple and you want to just kind of show them. So I just went to the internet and found hard maple. I right click, copy image, go back to Corel, right click, paste, and it brought in this maple. Then you could take this maple and make it whatever size the plaque's going to be. With your ratio and lock, you could make it 8 by 12. And then you'd have a plaque and you could start typing your text on top of that board. And you would show the customer what the engraving would look like on their wood or a, a maple wood. Now, if that doesn't work for some reason and you can expand it or whatever, you could always take your rectangle tool and we're just going to draw a rectangle. We're going to make it 8 by 12. And we're going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. Then we're just going to move our maple. And if you look, even if this one has a, a knot hole or a hard spot or a bad spot in the maple, but you can select them now both and go to intersect under the well tool. And now you have a piece of maple looking wood the size of your plaque. And you can take your text. Now, sometimes if your text doesn't show up, just always remember to put it in order. So if you ever see a bounding box like that, go to object order and put in front of page. Then you can write your text in your graphic. You can ask the customer if that's the correct size, you know, if the placement on the plaque's good. I do this all the time. Now I take pictures of the real maple wood that I'm going to use for their custom for the customer. But if you're just doing wood and don't have a Pacific wood yet, let's try a walnut. And go to a, well, let's go walnut wood. And then find a, a website that's really not like Woodcraft or Amazon and just try to look for some, like right here. There's a picture that I think it's the same database that we we're using before. Right click, copy the image, go back to your Corel, paste it. And this is one of those cases that you're going to just expand it out, but it's still going to show the, the uh, walnut grain and the color of the walnut. Now, you can get the color of the walnut, but it's going to look like that, and it's not going to have the grains in it. And then you can put their text on top of that. And here's one of these cases. We're going to go to Object, Order, Front of Page, and it put it in the front of page. And we can do the same thing that we did with the other one uh, about drawing a rectangle. And here's a little trick right here. We can hold down the Shift key and click the rectangle box, and it put a rectangle around that piece so we know it's the same size and then just grab both those and go intersect. And then you have a piece of walnut the size, the size of that plaque. So you could give them different options. Here's what it looks like under maple. Let's control D and get that text. And there's what it looks like under walnut. And then you could bring both of them side by side and ask them which one they want. That way, if you don't have the wood, you can go find the wood or have the wood made or buy a plaque that already has it and go from there. Anyway, I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.